quick tip for every car owner. New Total Power SO Extra is here. It's the best gasoline you can buy. Now the news. In Los Angeles, Fire Chief Keith Klinger says an expected break in the weather will give some 800 firefighters a chance to throttle a blaze creeping across Mount Wilson. Klinger says the firemen may be able to clear timberlands in front of the fire and start out the flames within 200 yards of the famous Mount Wilson Observatory. Some areas in the Midwest have been warned to expect temperature lows of 35 degrees below zero tonight. Forecasters say the cold front may push all the way to the Atlantic seaboard and Gulf Coast. Former Police Lieutenant Louis Shoulders has refused to comment on his indictment for perjury in connection with $300,000 of missing Greenleaf's kidnap ransom money. A federal grand jury indicted Shoulders today in St. Louis, a few days after indicting Patrolman Elmer Dolan, who aided Shoulders in arresting the Greenleaf's killers. Ramon Magsaysay has been sworn in as the third president of the Philippine Republic. He immediately promised his countrymen a new government based upon honesty and morality. French Commissioner General Maurice de Jean in Indochina says we have the situation well on hand. De Jean issued his optimistic report after French planes and ground troops cut up attacking communist Viet Minh forces and slowed the momentum of their offensive. Senate Republican leader William Nolan says the free world would have to act fast if communist rebels in Indochina attacked Thailand. At the same time, Secretary of State Dulles warned Red China against intervening in Indochina. Defense Secretary Wilson has warned the nation that as long as Russia threatens peace, Americans will have to accept military service and high defense costs as a normal part of life. Wilson reports that Republican economies have cut costs, but says the cost of maintaining an adequate defense will probably be high for many years to come. The parents of Private Homer Cox said that they were delighted at the news that he'd been freed by the Russians, but were too overcome to comment further. Cox and another American released by the Russians after several years of imprisonment, merchant seaman Leland Towers of San Francisco, are now in a West Berlin hospital. The Italian embassy in Moscow says Russia has agreed to release 28 Italian prisoners of war and six interned civilians. The spokesman says the Soviet government informed the Italian ambassador that 14 or 15 of the prisoners will be released in January and the remainder in February. And from Ciudad Trujillo in the Dominican Republic, the Foreign Office has announced that Porfirio Rubirosa, a former Dominican diplomat, and heiress Barbara Hutton will be married at the Dominican consulate in New York. However, no date was announced for the wedding. In Las Vegas, actress Zsa, Zsa Gabor says that Porfirio Rubirosa called her five times today to ask her to marry him. She also charges that he gave her a black eye Sunday night when when she turned him down just before he flew to New York to see Miss Hutton. In just a moment, the weather. Thousands of motorists can get new power without getting new cars. That's because now, for the first time, they can get total power. New total power SO Extra is the very latest gasoline achievement of the famous SO Laboratories. It's the best gasoline you can buy. Thousands of cars can get going faster and warm up smoother than they do. A switch to total power does it. Thousands of cars are not using all the horsepower that's built into them. New total power SO Extra makes it possible for the first time. Yes, even cars that are held back by retarded spark to operate on previous fuels can now tune up for total power without knocking. Better gasoline mileage, too. Get the feel of total power SO Extra in your car. No other gasoline you can buy can add so much extra power to so many cars on the road today. See your nearby S.O. dealer regularly. Test for North Carolina, cloudy with a chance of showers tomorrow, rain changing to light snow in the northern mountains, colder in the west portion tomorrow afternoon, and much colder over the entire state tomorrow night. Some cloudiness and cold Thursday. Low tonight in Raleigh, 45. High tomorrow in the upper 40s. Present temperature, 53 degrees. The humidity, 97%. Listen to your S.O. reporter again at 7.55 tomorrow morning, presented by S.O. Standard Oil Company, on behalf of your S.O. dealer. See him soon for new Total Power S.O. Extra Gasoline. Raleigh, WPTF, AM and FM. Basketball scores, Seton Hall, 73, North Carolina, 63. Navy, 85, North Carolina State, 75. Tulane, 74, Oregon State, 74. Duke 83, Wake Forest 66. We'll have to get a correction on that Tulane, Oregon State score, but Tulane's score was 74 and they won the game. 
Louisville, 61, Xavier, Ohio, 56, Lafayette, 73, Wesleyan, 64, Kansas State, 81, Washington, 75, Alabama, 68, Texas Christian, 58. Capital Basketball Tournament, first round in Richmond, 63, VPI, 53. Ohio State, 74, Denver, 56. The Kentucky Invitational Tournament, the loser's bracket in the semifinals, Villanova, 74, Murray, 61. The Sugar Bowl Tournament, Holy Cross, 79, DePaul, 22. And that Tulane, Oregon State score was Tulane, 74, Oregon State, 70. Never be unkind.